That's us. What time is it? We should for some sleep. Just a few hours, even. We'll feel better. All right, so it's uh, 6 a.m. And tonight we did a lot of busking. Uh, um, I think we started at eight or nine. We finished at three-ish, yeah, three. Drove home. And yeah, just when you get back to the van, there's so much setup to do. There's like a good 45 minutes of setup, but it'd probably be less setup, but we're so exhausted and so tired that it takes us a way longer to finish setting it up. So yeah, now all of a sudden it's 6 a.m. and it's light out, but that's how she goes. Now we're gonna try to sleep as long as we can and then get up and have a really relaxing day tomorrow. Yeah, so. say less of a vlogging day and more of a just like existing day and we can't make any plans we're too both too tired to make plans so we're just going moment by moment this moment we're eating some sushi sushi charcuterie mm -hmm. salad kombucha We just went swimming. We've had no energy to film today because this has kind of been one of the harder days. A build up. Like I got heat stroke a couple days before. We filmed Caitlin's thing, solid busking yesterday. A lot. We traveled to Calgary and Red Deer. No, no good sleep and- No uh, good sleep. We're running on three hours of sleep. I tend to want to keep filming, but then I'm also aware of Nova's energy levels. I'm just like, get the camera out of my face. So today was like a no film day. I could feel yeah. it. But then we went swimming. Oh my God. And I am she, a brand she new brought person. it up. She's like, we got, we should film. Now we're going to go find a park and chillax for a bit and then probably head to Canmore. Yeah, probably most likely. Yeah. Again, the, the rest of this trip needs to be relaxing because the first half was like, yeah, I'm glad we did that. Okay. Me too. That was a great idea. Okay, I'm gonna fall asleep. Okay, we're gonna go find the park. What lies ahead of us? Who knows? But we're about to find out. I've got the shoes to find out. Wow! Like, turn and face me. Yeah, yeah, that way. Perfect. Ooh, just look up, yeah. Oops. Yeah, look out. It's just so nice there. Put the tree in the back. This is the, definitely the shot. Oh, keep looking up. So we very much had the intention to find a park and eat and like watch a, a YouTube video we had saved and just chill. But uh, we found, I found this like edge of the city spot and I was like, we gotta go there. And there's just too many mosquitoes to chill. Just like that, we're back. Just a few blocks away, we found a picnic table, less mosquitoes, so we're just gonna chill, we're gonna eat. 
Yeah. Nova's eating Caesar salad without Caesar. <laughs> That's great. It looks like we have a very long, hot climb to oh get God. to the place that we're seeing. We've had a very stressful time. So this is probably a little bit weird, but uh, we're just gonna count up the busking change in this random Park. area. <laughs> just all this cash. We're having a super quick dinner and then heading to our castle. You know, I've had four nights of practice. Don't feel too bad. We're that was one night of busking. That was one. Oh my six god. Six hours. What? Six hours. Almost a hundred dollars an hour. If you can go to events and, and do stuff, yeah. yeah. It makes it worth it. It's definitely Double worth, worth it. it. Well, yeah. it's still just fun. It's fun. It's a fun hobby. It's fun, yeah. It's hobby Whether you make money or not, it's yeah. fun. Just like that, we're headed to Canmore. Yes, and the Calgary chapter ends. It it felt, felt like forever. It was like three or four days. It felt like our new home. Yeah. What was your favorite part? It was probably busking. Yeah? Just seeing the people. all the people interact with you and yeah. you getting to do what you want, yeah. wanted to do. I feel legitimately satisfied because this is what I wanted. We'll still get a good sleep, I, I'm thinking tonight. I feel I it. I think so. I feel it. We'll park in some shade. There's yeah. lots of trees. Yeah, I, th I feel like it'll be easier to find a spot in Canmore. I think so. Yeah. So we got to Canmore and um, sleeping in Canmore overnight is not allowed because I looked online, seems like they had an RV problem. So now we're sitting in a random parking lot trying to figure out what to do, where to sleep. And also there's just like a million mosquitoes in here. <laughs> they just keep on showing up. We, we kill like six of them and then they show up again. Anyway, that's our predicament right now. We drove an hour to Canmore and then we're like, dang. Dang, and it's already been an hour since we've been in Canmore and we haven't figured anything out. We've tried like three spots already, so we're just evaluating, trying to figure out what to do. So we'll update you when we figure that out. We're driving out of Canmore because I have the no overnight parking rule. So we're gonna drive to a little town outside of Canmore because they probably won't enforce that. <laughs> we're both running on three hours of sleep and Saul is holding it a lot better than I together than I am <laughs> let's go so we came to this small hamlet just outside of Canmore and drove up to a playground and there's a parking lot here and we're it doesn't say no camping so we're just hoping that we can sleep here no problem we're just gonna go investigate a little bit but yeah we're very tired we would like to sleep it would be dope this is a good spot if it is So we made it through the night. For me, it was a good spot. It was in the mountains. It was uh, less buzzy, and nobody bothered us or anything. Yeah. So, Bro. yeah, it's a really quiet place where we are at, and nobody comes here, obviously. So, yeah. I will have more to say after coffee. Yeah. Is that a cave? What is that? Go inside. Oh, low battery return to ready? Oh man. Floss off. It's pretty good. So head over heels on my bike when I was Get you! I will catch you. Maybe. Oh my god. Oh, you and your home.